Hi folks, welcome back. Um, been quite a lot going on recently, so I figured I'd probably best bring you up to date. So for those that don't know, my Dor Westbury milling machine has a slight handicap. The tapered bore in the spindle doesn't run deep enough to take standard length shanks. <clears throat> the previous owner had modified this Jacobs chuck to fit. Unfortunately, it only takes M6 drawbars and they tend to be a little on the weak side when it comes to removing these and need to be replaced often. And as everybody knows, <clears throat> you shouldn't really be holding end mills in Jacobs chucks anyway. So when an ER32 collet chuck threaded from Myford turned up on eBay, I was all over it. Well, I tell you what guys, it is awesome. <clears throat> Proved really handy, although I did find myself in a situation where that was being used on one of my dividing heads and I needed to mill, so it was back to the uh, Jacobs chuck. Not my favourite solution. So I stuck with it for a while, you know, I didn't see another one of these for ages and ages. And then just recently another one turned up. So I got that as well. So that's one for the mill, one for the dividing heads. And just to round things off, I thought I'd get one for the lathe as well. Uh, although this one comes with a little back plate. So a bit more chunky, so it doesn't quite fit the uh, mill like everything these two do, but Everything's pretty much interchangeable, so just swapping nuts, I suppose, if you've got different types of work or something being held in them. So, yes, very versatile. I know it seems a bit daft to have three of them, but actually, to be honest, I think it's going to prove to be really, really handy. The other thing of note is this milling vise. Oh, man, I have wanted one of these for ages. Well, as long as I've had the mill, I guess. I mean, not having one has taught me a lot about um, setting up, you know, work holding and all that kind of stuff, which is great. You know, it's 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 needed knowledge. So, you know, brilliant. But just being able to open and clamp jaws, set things up and then just mill away is just so much fun. It really does add a slightly different uh, dimension to uh, <clears throat> working with metals. So that I'm happy about. It's not, you know, a top of the range Kurt vice or anything, but you've got to start somewhere, right? Uh, it's also one of the few things I've actually bought recently that is new. Um, everything else I'm going to show you that I've had um, has all been second hand, um, but of reasonable condition and a pretty good price, I would say, in most cases. One of my favourite eBay finds so far that falls squarely in the reasonable condition for a pretty good price is this gorgeous 7.5 inch rotary table. Uh, interestingly, this actually came up uh, under a completely different listing than rotary tables. I mean, you know, it's a rotary table. However, looking under that category, this thing never turned up. And it was while looking for something entirely different that it came up. So, um... I'm guessing that nobody else had seen it either for the same reasons and lucky for me I was uh, the only bidder and there was only a few minutes left to go so I won that one. <coughs> Thank you eBay. Okay so these next two are more for the um, tool making side of things. Uh, not something I was planning on getting into but something I found myself doing more and more. Um, <coughs> So the first one is this Verdia height gauge, nice and chunky, it's got some fair weight to it. Um, I'd seen some other ones on uh, eBay that were quite expensive, that looked a lot less substantial, I should say. Um, and admittedly it's gross, but you know, like I said, you've got to start somewhere. And uh, I think it'll prove to be um, quite useful, I think. And you know, I've got old machines, so Achieving high accuracy is probably not something I'm going to be able to do anyway, but at least there's no harm in trying, right?
Okay, so every height gauge needs a surface to be useful. So um, it took me a while to uh, find one I was confident was worth getting. Um, obviously, you know, they're on eBay, so they can't be that great. <clears throat> but this one was uh, pure luck, I think. Um, and I think it was generally left behind because of the photo of it, which was basically it sat in what looked like a fairly dirty barn. Um, it actually turned out to be the workshop of a um, bespoke manufacturing machine engineer uh, who was uh, retiring. Um, he'd sold off most of his stuff already and uh, the surface plate was the only thing he was well, I think it was one of about six things left that he was getting shot of, or the last of his things to get shot of. Um, actually, it turns out that he'd been given it by uh, an engineering toolmaker friend of his, who had also shut up shop a few months ago, uh, prior to him. Um, and... I believe it's actually still certified uh, as Class A. So um, this thing had been sat in his shed. Uh, I think he used it a couple of times to prop something up, but he never actually used it as a surface plate. Um, it just sat in the corner gathering dust. So um, yeah, I've got a very nice 12 by 18 inch granite surface plate which I'm very, very happy with. Uh, he said the make was Crown, but the um, the little label on the front is missing. Um, but yeah, so together I think these two will come in very handy indeed. And I believe I've got uh, a few things I want to be making and showing later on. Um, so yes, brilliant. Um, but again, it's probably... Um, not going to see a massive amount of use because uh, my main interests involve pipes, bars and tubes and other things like that, which I'll go into a little bit later once I'm properly set up. So, uh, moving on. I was pretty excited to find this next one, which is this gorgeous sign table. I've always seen other people use them and thought how handy they might be someday. So, you know, I just like, I couldn't resist it. <clears throat> I wasn't the only bidder and it's probably one of the more expensive things I bought. But I think, to be honest, it's such a good condition. Um, you know, I mean, slight wear perhaps, but overall, I mean, that is nice. And from the same lot, or at least the same seller, I also picked up this lovely toolmaker's vise, which I figured would make a nice little pairing for that, for certain angle jobs on the mill. I can see a job coming up to make some clamps, which I think uh, I'll make later. Show that one off too. In fact, I'll probably need to make some clamps for this too. I've got this little chappy, which I picked up a while ago, for about 30 quid. Now, this is great, and it actually, in fact, <clears throat> with this little piece of aluminium here, which I use as a shim, it's exactly had centre height for my lathe, so I actually use that for various things. A um, few, few small jobs on the on the lathe and whatever. But it just, it's okay. It's got a slight bind in the bearing in there. I think I'm probably going to change them out at some point. It kind of sticks there. I mean, it's usable, but it's not highly accurate. And uh, without the worm and everything like that, it's, it has its limitations. So, a Timpkin turned up on eBay, which I bought. And this one actually came with all of the, um, the worm drive. Um, it's got the dividing plates. It's got three dividing plates. 
various little setups and everything. But again, you know, it just seems one of those one of those things that is rather handy to have about. Okay, so I've got a couple of smaller items as well. And one of my favourites is this lovely little square. Now, what caught my eye is the patterning on the handle. Now, if anybody knows what makes that, I mean, it looks kind of scraped, but like not... I mean, I've seen scraping and it doesn't look... Let's focus. It doesn't look like scrape marks. It almost looks... Like Dremel. You know, like zip, 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 zip. Like something's... I mean, you can't feel a thing. I mean, there's no... Nothing catches the thumb. I mean, it's as smooth as you can get. I mean, so it kind of like... Maybe it is a scraping. I don't know. I've not seen that kind of markings before. I'm no expert by any mid-stretch. So if anybody knows, I'd love to hear from you. So uh, put it down in the comments. You know, that'd be great. Uh, the other couple of things I've got recently were these... V blocks. Everybody needs some V blocks, and I'll be working with pipes and tubes and bars and stuff uh, pretty soon. So um, yes, I've just been collecting those uh, a couple of quid each, possibly. I think that was about fifteen. Um, that was about eight or nine. I think that's even still in its uh, wax coating. It's never been used, so you know, very handy to have. Cheap as chips, really. I mean, you can pick these up for about twenty quid. Match pairs new. How accurate they are, of course, is, you know, anybody's guess. But uh, for somebody who's starting out or on a you know, budget like I am, you can't really go wrong. <clears throat> um, one of my favourite gem finds, however, and uh, I've seen other people with these sets. I believe um, Keith Rucker, is it, from Vintage Machinery? Uh, he has a set, and uh, it's these. Boston Gear Gauge. Um, this one came with its box, and it's not something I've seen anybody else have. I've seen them use the uh, gauges before, but they've only ever had the gauges themselves. And these are in pretty damn good condition. So uh, I think I paid about 40 quid. Some guy in France, I believe, had these. But yeah, really nice, really nice. Um, there's a couple of things I want to do with my mill later um, to do with the... Uh, raising and lowering of the head mechanism, which has been a thorn in the side of many a Dor Westbury owner for many years. Um, yeah, so that'll come in handy when it comes to making gears. I mean, it's a bit above my head right now, but I like to plan for the future if I can. I will uh, catch you guys fairly soon. Um, that's pretty much the update as, this, as it goes. Uh, like I say, I've got a few projects coming up, which I'll... Uh, let you in on and uh, show you through so um, until then stay happy stay safe and uh, keep those chips flying